happy Sunday. Here we are on our little Sunday adventure. Gonna have some breakfast and then a uh, little grocery shopping. I feel like Tommy Pickles, we're going on an adventure. We're going on an adventure. For all you 90s kids. <laughs> and 90s moms, <laughs> you know about. About Tommy Pickles. The Rugrats. Yeah, we were fans, we are fans Still of the Rugrats. Yeah. Going on an adventure. Going on an adventure. First stop is breakfast. We had a busy day yesterday. We've had a busy last six months. It's been a lot. A lot. So we're probably going to share that with you all on a pot on a little video, video <laughs> podcast, whatever. And um, but we're strong. We're Lawson strong. But right now we're going to go have some village in. No, we're Lawson hungry. Yeah, we're lost and hungry right now. <laughs> Which is also a frightening thing. <laughs> we're going to have that, and then we're going to do some grocery shopping. Because, once again, Walmart fails. <laughs> fra, 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 fra. I mean, we need to do a video on Walmart. <laughs> Walmart fails. Walmart fails. Fra, fra, fra. But, um... We're going to go to an old staple of Winn-Dixie and get uh, pick up a few items that we need and uh, after breakfast. And we might take you along with us. Talk to you later. Hey, y'all. Meat and fries. Hi. Meat and fries for breakfast. Don't judge. Yum yum! It's all right. We are in um. We are in the uh, the Wind Dixie, and um. We are trying to get things that were on the list, and we'll show you the list later. Um, it's a rather lengthy list of things that were missing from the um the Walmart delivery. Uh, I was surprised how long the list was. Uh, so we are just beginning, but we are in we are in the store. Um, I'm I don't I don't I have no idea obviously what's exactly on the list, but we are again trying to recover. So there were no bananas at all, huh? No. Organic or otherwise. Oh, huh, well, that's not good. How how you not do bana bananas is it's amazing to me. And it's not that it was substitute. They're trying to substitute they, uh, anything. They just didn't send it. They charged me, but they just didn't send it. Yeah, who else runs a business that wants to like? Listen, I want you to pay for this, but I'm not going to get. I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That, isn't that a great business? Yeah, well, you can order it. But uh, and we, you can pay for it, but I'm not going to give it to you. Heck of a business model. It was Walmart, though. What do you want? Is that guacamole? Guacamole. Well, as long as it tastes good, it's fine. <laughs> If they like foot cheese, you know, it's really it's super expensive. All right, so we're taking the uh, the serpentine route through the vegetable area. We have a list, though. Let me give you an idea of what's on the list. That's a that's a pretty lengthy list of, of things that that were supposed to be things that were supposed to be in the delivery that wasn't. That's like a whole haul for other people, right? Good afternoon, happy Sunday, everyone. 
we we started this out as a vlog so you may have seen us already but we had some breakfast and then we went and did some shopping because the Walmart haul was a fail yesterday so I have a few things that I have from Walmart but then I had to go and finish my list and we went by our local Winn-Dixie yes Winn-Dixie's in Florida and um they're okay. I don't, it's not my favorite place to shop. Actually, my favorite place to shop is Publix, <laughs> where shopping is a pleasure. But prices are so high right now, you just gotta, you gotta go where you can, wherever. And, Pub and Winn-Dixie is not cheap either. This little haul that I have here that I'm going to show you was $159. And that's with my little bargain shopping card thing so here we go let's turn around and take a look here we have it yeah that's the lighting is not very good in here today but it's a cloudy kind of gloomy day but um it's florida it's still warm but it's still kind of cloudy let's start over here First thing, why I like Walmart, because Walmart, I the, it, what I paid for a dozen of eggs here at Winn-Dixie, which was $4.99, 5 bucks. you can get 18 eggs at Walmart for that amount. But um, <clears throat> we won't talk about that. And I got some bananas, some veggie tots they're like tater tots but they're made from cauliflower those are good roasted in the air fryer if you have never tried them try them they're very good and they're le of course less carbs than potatoes doesn't have any potatoes in it but they're just like uh tater tots then we have down here some mixed veggies some uh guacamole have two things of guacamole. We have a few things here that are that we don't normally get today because we're, of course, today is Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, we're going to have a little few um, not so healthy snacks. I'll put it like that. <laughs> so we have some uh, guacamole. The hummus that me and my husband are on a kick with. We have some roasted pepper and some roasted garlic flavor hummus which is yum yum that's good with um vegetables um i bought some celery sticks I have celery sticks and sweet peppers and all of that and we like snacking on that and of course again my husband likes it just on bread he eats hummus sandwiches i always say that and it annoys him we have some um cantina chips here because i'm gonna make my uh chili cheese dip today which is chili uh harmel chili with cream cheese and then we put shredded cheese on top of it and you dip with with these chips it's a very tasty dip when i make it i'll i'll film a little bit we have some appetizers uh any ties tyson's wings the barbecue flavor two bags of those we have some grapes here, seedless grapes, strawberries, all of this stuff here that I'm listing, I had on my Walmart order, but they did not give it to me. So I had to go and um, order more, go pick up some. We have strawberries, we have uh, blueberries and blackberries. When dixie had a buy three, for four dollars that's a pretty good deal right there so i got three of those um we have of course the dunkin donuts creamer which is a family favorite not mine i, I don't really care for cream in my coffee i drink my coffee black but to each his own here we go we have the philadelphia cream cheese and the chili that i was telling you about that i make the dip with we have some turkey wings. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this, but I, they were they were pretty uh, reasonably priced, and I rarely get turkey wings, so I got them just to put in the freezer. 
We have the cheese that I'm gonna put on top of the dip. We have some naan bread. You can eat that, <coughs> excuse me, eat that on a sa with sandwiches or for hummus. And some chicken nuggets, Tyson chicken nuggets for my, I, my son is an adult. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. So I don't think these is for a kid, but they're just Tyson chicken nuggets. And that was what they had. They had buy one, get one. And I got those. We have some um, chicken thighs here. Not thighs. These are uh, we, um, drumettes that I'm going to barbecue and cook for a meal prep this week. We have some uh, Black Forest ham for sandwiches. Under here, we have some imitation crab meat that I use on salads when I have salads. Up here, we have the uh, Tyson nuggets. Of course, you see that we like Tyson. Tyson's chicken um, pre-cooked, already cooked uh, chicken is very good. And it's healthier than norm most chickens because it's 100% natural ingredients. They don't use preservatives and stuff in it. So that's why you see so many Tyson things here. <laughs> and then I have a chopped salad here, a, a sunflower seed salad that um, I eat those during the week. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and I can eat, I can get two meals, sometimes three out of that one. And then over here, we have the beverages. Got uh, some Zephyr Hills water this time and some body armor for drinking. And that is $160, $60 worth of groceries, folks. Yeah. That's why we're, I'm searching. We have a new service in town for Kroger. Kroger is not a Florida grocery store but they have come here and they are offering delivery service where they have their trucks come they have a warehouse and then they have trucks that will deliver i'm really strongly thinking about this the the walmart order was so bad that they gave me a free month they offered me another free month of delivery service and gave me like a 40 dollar credit plus refunded me all my money so it was that bad. My son says, don't you ever use Walmart again. <laughs> so I can't say I won't because I want to use the credit that they gave me, but I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be my regular place to shop once I do my investigation and make a decision on whether I'm going to do Kroger, Publix, or whatever. So, but thanks for watching. Um, since I'm vlogging today, I'll probably do some snippets of me making my uh, my dip and also of us watching the game. So, you know, we are big football people. So, folks, <laughs> we're going to be into this game. And I'm rooting for um, Kansas City. Um, I'm pretty sure the Eagles probably will win, but we shall see. But... Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with you later. Hello again. Here is the chili cheese dip that I'm going to make for the part, the super, not party, but just for us to have to eat tonight. This is cream cheese. I have two, two little um, packets of it. And we're going to put Hormel chili, no beans, or you can do beans if you'd like. And we're going to do some cheese. And it's really very simple. You're just going to take this cream cheese and smash it in your container. <coughs> and you can take as, as much as you like or as little as you like this is not soft soften up quite as much as I'd like it to be but you get the gist of it I'm gonna smash it in the bottom I'm gonna put the chili on top and sprinkle some cream cheese put it in the oven for about five or ten minutes not even that long just long enough for it to heat up and melt 
and it's just that simple. I've been making this for years. I learned it from a co-worker a long time ago. She made it for a party, we, a potluck we had at work. Who's doing potlucks anymore? <laughs> Nobody does potlucks anymore at work. And if they do do it, we always order out. We don't particularly eat what somebody else has made. And what, why is that? Because of the internet. And you see people cooking all the time and they got their cats up on the counter and the dog leaking around the counter. and Just don't do pot looks anymore. But, um, here we go here. And the thing is, if you're going to eat it your, at home yourself, you can have your cat up on your counter if you want. Most of us who have pets know you're eating dog and cat fur for the life of that animal. I don't care how clean you think you are, you're eating some fur. <laughs> and that's the sacrifice that you make to have your pet because you love your pet. Who, who knows, you're eating some of your family's hair and stuff that falls into the... That nobody is perfect when it comes to cooking and, and keeping your house clean. Yeah, you keep it clean, but <laughs> there's always some hair or fur or something somewhere. Do you wear a net when you're cooking in your kitchen? No. So your hair <laughs> is going to fall in there. But as long as it's your family that's eating it, I don't have a problem with it, but you don't take that and give it to somebody else. That's the problem. So, most people don't eat other people's cooking. And that's my oven going off. And we're going to open up this. I've already wiped the tops off. Like that's any or anybody, like I said, <laughs> the way anybody else cooks is their business because they're eating it, they're giving it to their family. You don't have to worry about how clean that person is. It really smells gross. It's like dog food. But once you heat it up, yeah, it's 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 much better. But it really smells like dog food. Come on out. Spread this all out. Until it's even in the bowl. You can put as much or as little you like of cheese. I think that's enough for me. 
And there you have it. And it's all ready to go into the oven. Thanks for watching and I'll show you the finished product later. Promised video. Here we have the finished product of my chili cheese dip. It's bubbling a little bit there. But it's ready for consumption and it looks yummy, yummy, yummy. Check out the full video of how I made this on my YouTube channel, Deb's Life. Thank you for watching. Super Bowl Sunday. It's time to yum, yum, yum. And here we are. Whoa. It's a great it. Super Bowl evening. All the food is gone. Have a good evening. Thanks for spending the day with me. I'm getting ready to fall asleep before the game even gets to halftime. <laughs> Love you guys. And there's nothing you can do about it.